guys. Welcome to my vlog. This is Justin Ray Mongas from BS Ed 1 English. And I'm here to share to you what are my experiences and what are the things that I've learned in the subject uh, GNI, ICT, living in the IT world. So let's start. It was a great experience to learn more about technology, like our topic, the evolution of technology, which emphasizes the use of technology which we can use in our daily lives. This topic also informed us with regards on how technology evolves and on how it was developed. That's why now we are taking advantage to use of technology. We learned also the generation of computers, the first generation which uh, the time period of 1940 to 1956 which characterized by the use of the vacuum tubes where the vacuum tubes were used as the uh, basic components of the memory as well as the circuitry of the CPU or the central processing unit. The second generation of computers were characterized by the use of uh, transistors and uh, were highly reliable and easy to handle and maintain than vacuum tubes. The third generation of computers were characterized by the use of the IC or the integrated circuits where a single IC has many transistors, capacitors, and registers built on a single uh, tin of silicon. The fourth generation of computers with the time period of 1971 to 1985 were characterized by the use of the VLSI, the very large scale integrated circuits that uh, 10,000 of components were packed in a single chip and the size of a fingernail and it led to the development of the microprocessor. The fifth generation of computers, the time period of 1985 to up to present, were characterized by the use of the ULSI, the ultra large scale integrated circuits for the microprocessor chip were developed in having several millions of electronic components each. So powerful uh, laptops, notebooks, and PCs, desktops were developed during this time period. So also development of the AI, the artificial intelligence, the advancement in the parallel processing, and also the more user-friendly interface with the multimedia engines. We also learned the positive and negative impact of the ICT in our society where the positive impact is the ICT improves connectivity and communication since this modern technology made our society more efficient and ICT has improved learning process in education ICT improves in healthcare ICT helps in transportation and modern technology changing agriculture of course, uh, and of course, technology spread awareness easily. And of course, the negative impact of the ICT in our society is first is the technology causes health problems, health problems in people. Second is family and relationship problems caused by technology. And third is people's dependency and on technology. And the last is the addiction to using technology. Of course, we also learned and we discussed it, the parts of the basic parts of the computer, the motherboard, the CPU, the PSU or the power supply unit, the HDD, the, the hard disk drive, and then also the SDD or the SSD, the solid state drive, and of course the RAM, random access memory, expansion card, and the CPU cooler and of course the computer case and of course the input and output devices when the input devices the keyboard the mouse the joystick the light pen the trackball etc and of course the output devices the printers the monitors the speaker the projector the headphones and etc and so there you have it guys those are my experiences and those are the important things that I have learned in the ICT subject and what can I advise to you is from this topic that we have learned 
is we can use it and we can bring bring it to our daily lives since we are always using social media and we're always uh, using technology as part of our daily lives we can also share this information to to others so that's all for today and thank you so much for watching and i hope you enjoyed this video and so please uh, don't forget to like and subscribe my channel so see ya bye